Before we begin, I just want to give you a quick demonstration of the inner workings of object-oriented programming and Unity. Many of you are probably wondering what this prefab thing is, so let's talk about it, and I want you to just sit there and observe this demo, so you don't have to follow it. If I create a cube in Unity and make a duplicate cube from it, so now these two cubes are copies of each other. Then, if I change the color of one cube, it should have no effect on the other cube. And so to change the color of the other cube, we would have to do the same thing all over again. Now imagine that instead of these two simple cubes, we have a complex scene in our game with possibly 1000 green grass leaves. And suppose that all of a sudden, I decided to change the color of the grass leaves models from green to a more autumn yellowish color like the one you see on the right. Then you would have to change every single leaf manually, just like we did with the cubes, which is impractical or flat out impossible. What if there was a way that instead of changing the color of every single grass leaf manually one by one, I could change the color of just one of the grass leaves and have the effects propagate through all the other leaves. This is the exact problem that prefab solved. So let's remove these cubes from our scene and create a new one. To turn this cube into a prefab, all I have to do is drag and drop it into the projects asset folder. Now as you can see the icon turned blue, which indicates that it's a prefab. Let's create another instance of the cube. And why not create a third one? Now if I double click on this prefab and apply this material to it, and go back to my scene, you can see that the effects have been carried through all of the other cubes. This is because these are not copies of each other. They are instances of this master cube prefab which you can think of as the original blueprint for all of the prefabs that are yet to be instantiated. This means that if you change the original master instance, you change all of the other instances simultaneously because they're cut from the same original cloth, so to speak. And so to tie it back to our previous tutorial, all of these brush segments are instances of these two prefabs. So if I change their color, All the other bridge segments will change as well, because all of them are derived from these two. I hope this tutorial has clarified the essential idea behind object-oriented programming and why it's important in game development. Object-oriented programming sits at the core of how Unity works, and as we progress through the course, you'll develop a more intuitive understanding of how Unity implements object-oriented programming. With that out of the way, in the next tutorial, we'll be scripting the forward movement of our player. Thank you.